G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm back from my cruise, yay. Had a great time, but it's always lovely to come home, isn't it, after a holiday? And while I was away, my Elmer's glue all arrived. So yay, yay, double yay. So keen to give it a go. So that is one gallon, which is almost four liters. So I got that from Amazon Australia and I got free shipping, which was great. So I've got a whole heap of it. So cross fingers that it works. So I've mixed it up in here. I'm using my usual 65% glue, 35% water. So I've got 650 grams of glue, 350 grams of water. Mixed it up in there. It's just water. I put tap water in my bottle, so that's it. Now, I have got in my cups here, 50 grams of my pouring medium to 50 grams of paint. And that is just my global impasto paint. So I've got black and white, and then I've got three blues. I've got a navy blue, a mid blue, and a light blue. I just mix these up myself, add a little bit of white to get the color that I'm wanting. So 100 grams in each. This is just my card that I use. Uh, it's 30 by 40 centimeters or 12 by 16 inch. It's quite thick. Actually, I'll show you some of my dried paintings before I start. And everyone says, show us your dried paintings. So, all right, here we go. This is, this is the dip that I did. So nice and dry, as you can see, dries exactly the same, no cracking. I guess the cards warped a little bit, but if you put something heavy on it, it would flatten out again. You know, if you put it in a frame with glass, it would flatten out, so um, I'm, I'm not too concerned. I use them to practice on, so if a little bit of warping doesn't bother me, but uh, you can easily straighten them. I tend to put them in a, a clear display folder with plastic play pages, and I just slide them in there. That was one of the... Uh, dirty paws that I did, the one before the phoenix. Uh, this one was the turquoise, silver and black that I did. That's turned out really pretty. And this one, I think this was the aquarium one with the glue and water. So that's turned out really pretty as well. Lovely gorgeous cells. They hold their colour, hold their shape. No cracking with the glue and water mix. So that's that one. Oh, this was just another dirty pool. That one was those awful colours that I didn't like. Some of you seem to like it, but I didn't like it. But anyway, I thought I'd show you. Uh, this one, this is the one that I called Bright and Beautiful. The one with my glue and water mix again. Turned out really pretty. Uh, no cracking, no crazing. All just perfectly the way that I left it, so it. It's a bit messy on the back. I don't tend to tape my backs, um, but I do use these big push pins here. So that's that one, bright and beautiful. And then, I don't know if I can fit this one in actually. I don't know if it'll fit into the frame. Let me move everything over. This was the timber look ring pour that I did. I don't know if you can see all of that. Move it down a bit. So that's turned out really nice as well, nice and dry, beautiful. I'm going to do another one of these, I really like doing this. Maybe put like a little few knots in here and there. There's a little one there, a few little knots in there, so I might do some little, some bigger knots and see how that turns out. So that's that. Alright, that'll do for now. I can show you some of my dried ones on the next video as well. Alright, now, as I said, five colours. And I'm using the spot on treadmill silicone, 100% silicone oil. And I'm going to do three drops because I do one drop per 30 grams or per ounce. So this has got just over three ounces. So three drops. And I'll put some in the white, I just won't put any in the black up this end. So this Elmer's school glue, uh, not school glue, the glue oil. We can get the school glue here in Australia, Spotlight sells it. Um, but it doesn't dry kind of water safe. Once your painting's dry, you'll find if you wipe over it with 
a cloth or some alcohol wipes, baby wipes or whatever, the paint will come off. Whereas with glue all, uh, it should be water fast and, and not uh, wipe off. So I'm going to go around five times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's it. So my mix, let's see if you can see this, leaves a bit of a mound. And I like it to be like that for my flip cups. Little mound on a mound. I think that's perfect. It's lovely and creamy. I don't know whether it's the glue or what it is, but it seems to be working so far. Now, my colours here, I'm doing dark, light, dark, light, and then dark again. I just like the, I don't like having two colours too close to each other. I like to break them up uh, with a lighter colour in between the two blues, but that's just personal preference. All right, let's layer these. I'll have enough to do two layers. So I'll put a little bit of black in the bottom. I've only done 500, mixed, 500 grams of mixed paint here for this size. If, if it was a canvas of this size, I would have to increase it to 600 grams because I've got the sides to do as well, but no sides on the card, so I don't need quite as much paint. All right, in goes the light blue. Move that over a little bit so I don't drop too much on the card. Navy blue, this one feels a little bit thicker. Navy always tends to thicken up while it's sitting. That's okay. Should be all right. It's got the other colors next to it. Some, blue, some of the white again there to break up these two blues. Didn't want to put the dark blue and the mid blue next to each other. Just break them up with some white. It feels a little bit on the thick side as well, that blue. All right, back to the black. So I know you've seen me use these colours before, but just for the sake of this experiment, we use similar colours to what I've done previously in my pour, so we can see whether or not the Elmer's glue wall is better, is worse, is indifferent maybe, maybe you can't see a difference. But um, everyone over in the States uses it, loves it, and uh, I just wanted to try it really. I know we've got PVA glues here in Australia, and um, I've used them and I'm really happy with them, but I just wanted to see if it was any different. So that's my reason for getting this glue. I've got quite a lot of it, so if it works, I'll certainly use it all up. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with uh, the PVA wood glue. It depends on which brand of paint you're using. It's fine with some brands, but other brands, it kind of curdles. So I think it's safer just using a craft glue rather than a, a wood glue. That's my opinion anyway. But as I said, lots of people do use the, the PVA wood glue from Bunnings. It's our hardware store here in Australia, a big hardware store. I guess like your Lowe's in the States. All right, those two are empty. Go back to the navy. And as you saw, I just put some black on my corners there so that I don't have to tilt too much to get to those corners. We always tend to miss the corners, hey? It's just a bit of a safeguard. Painting the corners first so that you don't have to overstretch. If you don't get right up to those corners, it doesn't matter because they're already covered in a, a complementary colour. Finish off the white. So New Zealand is a gorgeous place. Loved it where we went on our cruise for 10 nights to New Zealand. Uh, even though it's, what's today, 3rd of December, it was really quite cold and rainy in New Zealand for this time of the year, which is almost summer really. When we left it was almost summer. 
So getting up in the morning and looking out, opening the curtains and looking out over the balcony, it was cold and rainy, overcast, you no know, grey skies, about nine degrees. And we thought, oh no, it's going to be not a very fun day for having a shore tour. But by the time we jumped on the bus and got to where we were going, the sun was coming out and the rain had gone and cleared up to be a lovely day. So that's pretty much what happened every single day. So we had great, great shore tours. Actually, I'm going to do that. And I'm just, I'm not going to drag them. I prefer not to drag when I'm using the glue mix. I like to just lift the cup over and let the paint flow out. Yep. So yeah, we had um, lovely shore trip days. So a lot of New Zealand, it's, as I said, it's a gorgeous place, so green, lots of rain, so very green mountains everywhere. Went and had a look at the hot springs and the mud pools and the geysers in Rotorua. It's not like sulphur, but very interesting, very lovely place to visit. All right, how are we going with these? I think I'll tip them over. We don't need to wait terribly long for them. Let's have a look. I'm just going to lift the cup basically and let the paint flow out. Oh, it looks a bit thick. It hasn't spread very much, has it? It's okay, I can stretch it. Whoops, shouldn't have. I've told you a million times, haven't I? Don't bring things across your paintings, go around, and then I did it. Alright, tiny little bit of paint left in the cups, if I need them, but I should have enough. Got pretty much most of it out, I think, but it hasn't really spread very much, it just stayed in its little blobs. So I don't know if Elmer's is a bit thicker than the craft glue I'm using here in Australia. We'll see. It'll be a fun experiment. Right, torching with my little butane torch here. Up high. I don't want to get caterpillars. I just want to pop some of these bubbles and bring some cells up. Don't want too many cells. I'm not sure how this glue is going to react. <gasps> Look at that. Wow, that's gorgeous. My goodness. Beautiful. I can see some bubbles in there, but I don't want to pop them because I don't want any more cells there. Wouldn't mind a few more over here and a few there and then a bit there. So let's torch again in those areas. Let's go over once. There we go. That'll do. More cells popping up as I speak. They're a nice shape cell, especially these. These are just gorgeous. So pretty. Let me see if I can get some more just there in the blue. I think that's enough. Don't want to overdo it, eh? Hey? Okay, so far so good. Let's get to Stretching. Now I've got a lot of blank areas here, here, big blank areas, so let's hope, hope, hope that I've got enough paint to cover this surface. Let's do it. Go zigzag up and down. The problem with having two that way and one here. This one has to travel a lot further to get there. And I'm going to lose paint from here as well. So, but I've got plenty of paint so I'm able to, to stretch because I have got a lot of paint on here. Which is why I use more paint so that I can stretch my work out. Okay, that's gone over. Let's bring it back. Oops, let's clean that off there so you can see where the edge is. Around we go. 
I do prefer to tilt away from me, so I flip things around all the time. Loving this side. Hasn't got so much blue, I think that's it. The cells are really popping up through this white and grey section here. Right, off we go to the other side. Now I need to cover this, this is the biggest blank area. But before that, I'm going to open up some of this. See how this is coming down on an angle? I want to see if I can just open some of that out. Putting my hand underneath the card here. Just bending it a little bit. And seeing if I can move that paint across. It's a good thing with these cards, you can do that. Still quite sort of on an angle there. Might have been better just to flip them all down from the one side, hey? That's okay, I can do that again next time. I wanted to see what would happen with this glue mix first. Mm, I need a good little stick. I don't want to lose all this gorgeousness here. Down you go, paint. I'm used to using. It's not flowing as easily. Little blob there. It's moving quite slowly across the surface. been able to get to those corners. So that's okay, the, the black corners are working fine, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Let me wipe some of this paint away. My poor little cookie cooling rack's getting quite covered in paint. Okay, well that's looking really pretty. Loving this side here. Look at those cells. They're really keeping their shape well, aren't they? I'm just a bit upset that it's going down there like that. I'll have to do it again and just do three cups from there. That way they can all be the same shape and I just tilt straight down. So I'll do that again. Oops, I'll just put my finger in that paint on the corner. Uh, have I got any black that I can... A little bit of black on here, I can just fix that corner up a bit, maybe. Not really. <laughs> I'll have to grab my black cup. Here it is. I stacked all my cups up on top of each other. I probably shouldn't do that until I'm finished. Just fix that little corner up there where I stuck my finger in it. That'll be alright. Okay. So yes, uh, in conclusion, I think my mix, this mix is probably a little bit thicker than what I'm used to, but um, I sure do love this side here. Gorgeous. Mm, maybe I torched this side a little bit too much. That was the side that only had those few little white ones popping up and I probably should have just not torched this side as much. It's a bit busy, isn't it? So I'll do it again. Let's see what happens if I torch. Just for just for experiment's sake, just through the middle there. One little torch, so lots of little tiny cells popping up. Look how cute they are. They're multicolored, they are so cute. Little baby cells. Alright, so just for experiment's sake, just to see what would happen. Uh, what have we got here? This is a little blob of something. Unmixed paint or a little bit of dried paint down the side of my container maybe. A little blob there. But you can see it's quite a thick mix. So it'll be interesting to see how it dries, whether it um, dries well like my other glue or whether it's going to crack. 
So I'll let you know. But um, I'm going to mix up some paint and I'm going to do another one and not talk so much and see if I can get the whole thing more like, like that side. Okay, right, get my gloves off. Take you in for a close up. But yeah, I love those cells, multicolored cells. Very pretty. Whoops, that was too far. <laughs> there we go. Right, very nice cell. So yeah, for my first experiment with uh, Elmer's Glue Oil, yay, doing well. So uh, as I said, I'll do another one and I'll see you for the next pour. Bye for now.